Hello traders out there in Traderland. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Monday, June 24th, 2013. Crazy day here on Wall Street. We have the S&P down 1.21%, which is a brutal day, to say the least. Well below 1,600. The Dow down 0.94%, off 140 points. At one point, we are down over 230 points for the day. NASDAQ off by more than 1%. Russell's off by 1.3%. Bank's off by 0.44%, so not as bad as rest of the major indices. VIX, which is the volatility index, which is the fear indicator. The fear indicator does spike. 6.3%, now over 20, gang. It's been a while since we've seen these numbers. Then we have gold down 0.9%, silver off by more than 2%, crude oil up 1.23% with the US dollar, up a fraction. Taking a look here at the Dow, you see a big drop. The thing I want to share with you here is we were above all major moving averages at one point last week, and however, we have now since come down. The only major moving average that we are now still above, and we did close above the rising 100-day moving average. Now, we do have the big, big 200-day moving average still below here, but we are broken. We have this double top trend reversal pattern. Things are very weak, even though we do have a decent chance of a little bit of a rally going into tomorrow. Let's take a look at the S&P. Now, one thing I did warn everybody on, and that was the death hook. When we received this death hook, things have just dropped ever since. The S&P is actually more powerful, more meaningful to us than the Dow itself, and we do have a close right here below the 100-day moving average. With that, we did have a lot of buyers coming in at these lows, running the market back higher. Question is, what can we expect? Here's the weekly chart. So this is only Monday. We do have a lower high and a lower low. But the big thing is we are down below decisively now, below a major trend line coming across. This is a major major weekly trend line. So far, we are below the 20-week moving average also. But we do have a trend line coming higher that could act as some support. So we're caught between these lines. Anything can happen. On the monthly, we're going to be wrapping up the month here, gang. We have what's called a bearish engulfing with a lower high and a lower low. We are at a support level. I'm telling you, going through the rest of the week, if we get down below this major monthly trend line, this market is in in significant peril. So it's something to be watching for. And I do want to show you quickly gold on the monthly. We are dropping more and more. I mean, gold has just been on a free fall. Same thing with silver on the monthly chart, a free fall. And so far down below a lot of support levels. And we'll quickly take a look at Google on a daily. We had this pull back here. If we do gap higher above the 20-day moving average, you will have what's called a morning star reversal pattern, and we could get a bounce off this support level. And Apple here is in a free fall, begging for some support at $400. Can you believe Apple now is at $400? crazy and you have Facebook here we have this bearish flag we're on the wrong side of this we have gapped down with the doji above the 20-day moving average but this thing could get ugly and it could happen quickly and I'll leave you with a comment which is a sage old quote from Albert Einstein it says before God we are all equally wise and equally foolish take care and safe trading to you